The scale of the mountains on the coast is just enormous. The valleys are so deep, and the valley walls are incredibly steep, with waterfalls everywhere you look. I chose Yvonne Peak as an objective because of its location close to Bear Glacier, its west ridge stands out as a clear and obvious approach to the summit, and because it requires no glacier travel. Going solo, and with my dog Nina, it would be safest to stay off of glaciers. From where I started at the Cullen Creek Bridge, I actually thought I'd be following a trail. Even though the first 100 meters took an hour to bushwhack up, I thought I'd find the trail somewhere in front of me. I didn't. It turns out there's no trail to begin with. I spent hours battling with Devil's Club that I never documented. All right, I've reached the very first high point on my way up Yvonne, and you can see it there in the background. I've probably made it halfway in elevation gain, and it's been about five hours since I left the car. The bushwhack was brutal, and I lost my sunglasses during the bushwhack. I completely underestimated the distance and the height again because that is still a long way up above me and a good distance from me too. I'm going to, have to go down a little bit and up that ridge. And I should have brought a tent and food so I could bivy overnight. There were several points on the way up where I was worried if I had enough time to make it to the top. But I kept going as long as it looked good and reevaluated after each section. Walking along the knife edge moraine was definitely a highlight. So our options from here are a steep snow slope to traverse, possibly a cornice, or we scramble up this rocky bit at the top, and I don't know if that's doable either. Not sure yet, we'll see when we get there. So I just scrambled up that rocky ledge, and came over the top, and I'm very disappointed the summit is still very far away and very much higher than me right now. To be safe, I shouldn't try and do it today, simply because of the time and my amount of energy. But it is an absolutely beautiful day to be up here. Blue skies and a slight breeze keeping the bugs away. Views for days. Across from me I can see the Bear Glacier spilling down from the Cambria ice field. I can see Disraeli Peak, Otter Peak, Entrance Peak, Cornice Peak. Behind me, more ice fields, more peaks than you can name. So it is incredible. The final section before the summit I call Tombstone Alley. As these slabs of rock stick up perpendicular to the slope like headstones. They look pretty unique. We are on the summit of Yvonne Peak above the Bear Glacier, way down there. Ooh, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. This is one of the biggest efforts, the biggest solo mountains I've ever done so far. It's absolutely staggering how much elevation that was. Nina made it all the way up here? Oh yes, she did. Nina made it. Good girl. Oh yeah. Yvon Peak isn't crazy high, it's 2100 meters, but the start was at 380 meters. So total gain is likely near 1800, or almost 5900 feet of climbing. It's a lot for an amateur like me in a single day. I am absolutely ferociously thirsty. I can't wait to fill my gullet with a big gulp of cold water. I'm so dehydrated. 
Coming down the ridge, we happened upon six mountain goats below us. That was awesome to see. Straight from the source. So I've made it down all the serious parts of the down climb. Sorry, none of that was re documented. Just had to keep the camera in the bag for that and just be careful. I could be staying here tonight if only I had a tent and a stove and food in this absolutely amazing plateau. I should be staying here tonight. Instead, I'm gonna have to start down climbing into the bushwhack from hell to get out of here. I'm finally back. Round trip was 13 and a half hours and I lost my bear spray on the way down so the bushwhack stole both my sunglasses and my bear spray and I'm so tired it's hard to talk. I'm gonna go jump in a lake. <laughs>